Hello everyone, thank you for joining me and welcome to this channel. Here I share tips from my own self-teaching violin experience that will hopefully take you further into your violin journey. Today I will share my step three drills for developing vibrato on violin and these step three drills are a continuation of my step two drills designed to be implemented in order. So if you haven't reviewed the step two drills yet, I will have the link to the video in the description box below. So from here on, I will assume that you've done my step two drills for about a month or more. And now it is time to bring it all together. So let's get started. For all of these exercises, Remember to do them with a 15 minute limit per session in order to prevent injury. Pay attention to your body and make sure you consult a medical professional if you feel any pain or discomfort while doing these drills. Drill number one, first position we use with hard support. In this drill, you will need two essential things. Number one is hard support. Hard support is, um, something that you will use to support the scroll of the violin. You can support it from below and from uh, behind the scroll. In my case, I like to use my music stand as my hard support. All I do is I apply a um, soft cloth to protect the scroll of my violin. Now, I do my uh, vibrato drills while I'm sitting down. If you want to do these drills while standing, you can use a wall. Just make sure you put a cloth at the scroll of your violin to protect your violin. I've seen people use bookcases while they're standing. Um, another um, creative way to find hard support is to use the back of a chair or the back of a, of a sofa that's cushiony. And you, all you do is rest your violin scroll um, on the back of the cushion uh, while you're sitting down and while you're doing these vibrato drills. And uh, these drills are also a continuation of my step to uh, third position back and forth. And that drill was where you rest your hand in third position and you do the vibrato motion, the back and forth vibrato motion in third position. Now we will move that same exercise to first position. And that's why it's very important to find a hard support. The second essential thing you will need for this exercise is your metronome. You cannot do this exercise without a metronome because here is where the real progress will begin. Currently, I believe I can go up to 120 beats per minute at this time. But along the way to get up to 120, you, uh, it's important to notate where you're at at the time. That way you know uh, for each session where to begin to move up higher. For demonstration, I will start at a slow pace. It will start at 70 beats per minute. You need to also keep in mind um, how you bow. Um, we're going to do basically three sets. Uh, quarter notes, eighth notes, and sixteenth notes. And in those, and in those sets, you're going to do two um, bars, which is two four counts. All right. So your first set of, of four, you will start at the frog, and by four you should be in the center of the bow. And then by the second four, one, two, three, four you should be at the tip of the bow. A down bow will be quarter notes. When you do an up bow, you will do two sets of four of eighth notes. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, middle, one, two, three, four, back to the frog. So make sure at the halfway point, you're at the halfway point of your bow. Same with your sixteenth notes. But you'll understand once it's implemented. So here's my example of the first position we use with heart support.
In order for your first position we use to be effective, you will need to practice them every day. Yes, every day. <laughs> and for several weeks. Um, you will see progress, I would say, about after four weeks. But it is a very gradual process to um, to get to a faster pace that will sound more like a vibrato. So be patient and persistent with this exercise. I promise you, if you are, you'll get there. Okay, so once you have pretty much uh, become good at doing the first position Wii you probably you're at, I don't know, 100 beats per minute. Now it's time to step it up a bit by doing our fast vibrato drill. I got the idea from another video that explained vibrato as a pulsing motion. Your vibrato is not supposed to sound like a static um, vibrato, it's supposed to sound like a pulse. It's best explained in that video by a professional violinist, so I will link that video in the description box below if you're interested in knowing what I mean by this pulsing motion. The exercise is very simple. All you need is your violin and your bow. This one does not require a metronome. So what you do is you, um, you're going to play a clean straight bow, but in the middle of that clean straight bow, you're going to start off with one pulse. And when you do the, uh, the bow, the up bow, you're going to do a back pulse again. And then in the next set of bows, you're going to do two pulses. And then when you play an up bow, two pulses again. And then you increment it one by one. Um, this time you're going to do three pulses. And then uh, when you go upward, three pulses again. And so on and so forth. You should be able to get up to eight pulses. And then after eight pulses, um, just do it consistently in the down and up bow. So here's an example of how to do it. And um, I hope I do it correctly. So um, here's the example.
So if you got this far into the video, thank you for watching. And just because you made it this far, I will share with you a bonus drill. And with this third bonus drill, which is first position pulses with heart support and a metronome. It's basically like the first position we use with heart support, but you're going to do it with pulse. Every two sets of four, you're going to increase um, the amount of pulses you pulse between beats. So uh, first you do singles, then you do doubles, then you do triplets, then you do quadruplets. And another thing to keep in mind in this example, I kind of skip the first the first initial beat of a four count to kind of get the feel of um, of the bow and to catch on to the pulsing. And that's perfectly fine. If you just want to be continuous, uh, go for it. But for me, it's easier to kind of skip the first beat and just start afterwards. Okay, so here's an example of the drill. So there you have it. Those are my two plus one bonus drill for my step three vibrato development. If you can get through this step three, you will be extremely close in having that vibrato motion. But that is not the end of the road. Um, there is still one more step, which is implementation after this step. So I will be making a video about that hopefully in the next couple of months and we'll take it from there. Make sure you do these drills in order, uh, not all at once. Get good at each drill before you go on to the next drill. And remember, these drills can be a little uh, taxing and um, also a little monotonic. So you want to keep it short so you won't get bored and, and unmotivated in doing these drills. It's hard to keep it consistent, but if you do, you will reap the rewards of having a vibrato. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.